what I have seen is a lot of people transitioning out of the data scientist job family. The data engineer is building actual product, like their tables that they are building, their pipelines that they're building that somebody can go and see and use. Hey guys, today we're looking into a video called why data engineer is the better role than data scientist. For me as a data engineer, very interesting video. The link to the video is in the description below and let's get into it. All right, so here we are. Let's give this a go. Why is data engineering better than data scientist role? So in this video, I'm going to talk about like okay. four reasons why data engineering is better than a data scientist role. Now, before I jump into the video, I do so quick data engineers, they're usually the people that are building the pipelines, basically getting the data from the source to the destination, which very often is the data scientist, the data analyst, who then create an analysis result, all right? Or where we get the data from the client, from the customer, and show it to the customer on a user interface, or something like that. And so data engineer is more in charge of pipelines, and the scientist is more in charge of analysis. So they need each other, right? I do want to say that this video is not to bash any job family. This is based on my personal experience, my personal opinion. Yeah. After having worked in both of the job families, you may have a different opinion. Completely fine. Worked as a data engineer for two years, two plus years, so three years in a big tech before transitioning to data scientist. Okay, so she actually made the transition to it the other way, right? completely okay to have a different opinion. I'm just here to share my POV on what are the four reasons why data engineering job family is better than data scientist job family. Mm -hmm. Reason number one, data engineers build tangible things while data scientists, a lot of the times they are building models that live in the back end behind a product, behind a feature or anything. Okay, okay, that makes sense. The th yes, this is more, we're building tangible things, but on the other side, why are we doing this? We're doing this for the scientists, we're doing this for the analyst. So yes, and you, if you look at this from a larger picture view, from a project view, um, there's no reason to do engineering if there is not a project. Right? And what is usually being looked at from the management more, the scientists or the analysts, because they actually produce the output, they actually produce the value, and the engineering stuff is very often looked at as the, okay, we have to do it, do we really need to spend money on it? So that's, I think, that's something you need to keep in mind here. For analysis like that, you can't really, it tells you a story, it's more of a storytelling, it's nothing tangible, versus the data engineer is building actual product, like their tables, that they are building, their pipelines that they're building, that somebody can go and see and use. So that, that is like one of the... Pipelines they can use and they can see. Data scientists tell stories. Yes, but who, who cares about the pipelines? Hey guys, before we continue with the video, a quick info, our Black Friday deal for my Data Engineering Academy is here. That means you can now save 30% on the 12 months access or unlimited access to my engineering academy. You will get everything you need to learn data engineering for only a fraction of the price. So head over there, learndataengineering.com and use the code BLACKFRIDAY24 to get the 30%. This is only valid until the 30th of November. So again, head over there and let's make the end of 2024 and especially 2025 your year. And let's continue with the video. Right. Let's argue the other way around. Who cares about the pipelines and about the, the tables? You want to hear the story. You want to see the results. So, of course, you need the engineers because without the engineers, you can build no product. But... Mm. The biggest key differentiator between the two job families. And there's a lot of times when I miss building the tangible piece of data engineering. And I'll tell you why. Be I can see that. I can see that because you, as a, as a scientist, you are going to build your models, you're going to analyze the data, but you have no, um, you, you can't build the whole thing. You have no influence on actually building the thing. And that can be, I, I feel like that can be very frustrating. 
because when I worked as a data engineer, it was very easy to prove value of my work because I will build data pipelines. And at the end of my year, if I need to prove my impact, I can say like I build two data pipelines, which encompasses X number of tables. These tables are being used by X number of people and they are getting value. Basically, I'm able to tell a story and actually point to physical things that I have done and my work has contributed to. Okay, the, yes, that makes sense. Nobody's going to care about how many pipelines we build. The, I think the last point is the most important one. I've, I've done this work who actually benefited from this. This is we've seen this in other uh, reaction videos that I've done where we looked at um, CVs, how to build a, a good CV and how to add metrics in the CV, right? You always want to talk about the goals that you solved and or the, 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 the impact you had on other people, on the end product. Whereas in- But the, the scientists can do that as well, can they? Working as a data scientist, I actually had to, and I still have to a lot of the times, figure out what is that impact. And that is a very tricky situation because like you build a model, it goes into production. Let's say if it's trying to improve any front facing customer metric, let's say customer attention, it's not that straightforward to figure out like what is that, what your model specifically attributed to improving customer attention, let's say. So, but shouldn't this be measured? I mean, this should, like, I, I don't know, like, is this really a problem? If you're building a model for improving customer attention, you need a way of measuring the, how, how, you, how your model improves that. And if you can measure it, you can build a story around it. I don't know. I like because you, you, otherwise you would not know if your model works or if this even makes sense. So you need to have KPIs and you need to measure KPIs. Does that mean you don't know the, the KPIs, but you should? I don't know, that makes not that much sense for me. You can pull, put that number, let's say if your model improved customer retention by 2%, you can say like if improved by 2%, but there's like nothing tangible that somebody can go and see. Whereas a data engineer, they have data tables, they are tables built, they have the usage. Somebody can go and easily look what are those tables and what are the usage of it and who's using it. Yeah, but I, let's argue the other way around. Nobody cares about this. Nobody cares about the tables and so on. Who, who, who cares about the tables? Yes, you can show them off. But like the end product is the important thing. And if you can say as a data scientist, I build a model and this helped customer retention 5%, 2%, 3%. And that meant that much of uh, revenue. I think that is the more tangible thing than telling people that, well, I built these, these are the tables that are built. It's like. I would actually argue the complete other way around. And they can go ask those people questions. Like, so, so I think like that's a big difference. And there's something satisfactory about building tangible things. One other thing. What's more valuable? Having, being able to show that you have done a lot of work, that you have built a lot of tables and so on, or being able to show that you actually made an impact by increasing the, the um, customer attention. I think it's more valuable to have the second one, like the scientist has. Which, which is something that I really, really miss in my current job working in the data scientist domain. The second reason why data engineering is better is the career ladder is more structured. I have talked about in so many of my videos how data scientist career ladder is such a big mess. It means something different from company to company. Okay, I, have, I haven't actually noticed this. Scientist means everything, of course, because you're working on different problems, maybe with different tools. Yes. But also from a data engineer perspective, it's the same thing, right? You, if you work here with AWS and work there with Azure, if you're working with different data in a different domain, is this really more structured? Maybe in terms of what are the skills for a mid level, for a junior, for a mid level, for a senior staff engineer? That could be, yes, that could be the case. Let, let's see. But as when you talk about data engineering, data engineering ladder is actually more stable and the definition is more well understood among different companies. You start as a junior data engineer, you become mid, then you senior, 
the new principal. There's actually a clear. Yes, but does that like? I would let's argue the other way around. Can we get to this somehow? Data engineer, you become yeah. mid, then you senior, yeah. then you principal. This when we look at this, isn't this the same thing for a data scientist? You start as a junior data scientist, or yeah, then you're a mid-level scientist, and then you're becoming a senior scientist, and so on. Like, isn't this, isn't this the same thing? I, I, I could maybe I could see that it's more structured for engineers, but. There's actually a clear career trajectory for data engineer ladder. There's clear skill set. Whereas on the data scientist side, it's actually a total mess where one company thinks that a data scientist means something completely different than company X and the skill set could be very different and it could be. That, yeah, I, that I understand, that I understand. That data scientist means something different for everyone for this company, for company A, this is somebody who's doing machine learning, who's doing, um, I don't know, any kind of uh, interesting analysis. For the other company, it's just a glorified data analyst who's working with tables in the data warehouse and is creating dashboards, right? So I, this is what I can see. With an engineer, it's more structured. It's more, okay, you know this, then you, the next level knows this and this and this and this and has that much experience working with this. That's true. That's true. A mumbo jumbo of everything. I think what I'm trying to say is like for data scientists, very likely than not, your skills are not going to be that transferable. And the career path, we haven't seen a lot of principal data scientists. In, in my experience, I personally haven't seen a lot of principal data scientists. What I have seen is a lot of people transitioning out of the data scientist job family. Worse I can see that in my academy that people transition from scientist to engineer. That's true. Um, what did you just say here? One sec. I haven't seen a lot of principal data scientists. Skills are not going to be that transferable. Transferable skills. I think that is because there is a difference in how it is transferable from an engineer and for a scientist. With an engineer, let, let's quickly think about it. Engineer is very structured. So you know with, what is a senior, what is a junior, what is a mid-level uh, engineer. Um, they have skills and these skills are transferable. So you can take an engineer. They have their skills on AWS. They're a senior engineer on AWS. You can bring them into another company and they can do the same thing here. Because for engineers, the domain that you're in is not that important, right? We can work in, in banking. We can also work in insurance. We can work in the auto industry. We can work in mining. It doesn't really matter for an engineer. On the other side, for a scientist, what is very important is the domain. Because they have that much domain knowledge, they can actually understand the data and the problem on a different level. So I would argue it's because you look at it from a different side, right? You don't look at it from a technical skills, you look at it more from a domain skill. So if you're a data scientist in the financial domain and you know your stuff there, it's very easy for you to jump in another company where that has the same domain. You might use different tools. You might use different um, algorithms and, and different, th yeah, different skills, different tools. Like the engineer is using the same tools. You're using different tools, but the domain is going to be the same. And that is the important thing. I think that's where, how we'll need to look at this and the career path. We haven't seen a lot of principal data scientists. In, in my experience, I personally haven't seen a lot of principal data scientists. What I have seen is a lot of people transitioning out of the data scientist job family. Versus on the data engineering side, the career trajectory is well way more defined and very similar to a software engineering, I would say. The third, which I think is pretty obvious, is like data engineering is more of a back-end role. You don't deal with business very often versus a data scientist role. So if you are... It's true. <laughs> we're more a back end role. We're talking with other engineers. Uh, of course, we're also in the beginning when you have to set KPIs and you have to understand the project, you have to talk with people who are into the project, who are in the project management, who are setting the goals for the project, who um, basically see what's going to be the outcome going to be. But yeah, and that's more data scientists doing this way more than an engineer. 
type of person who don't like dealing with business, who likes staying in the back end and who wants to like build things and stay behind the scenes. Like, I think this is a great role. This would be some. This is a great role for everybody like me who doesn't like people and who <laughs> stays in their shell and who are usually introverted, who just want to work, right? Just want to work, no BS here, no BS there. Um, I, that engineer is a great role for that, I can tell you. Something that one person may prefer, another doesn't. For me, for example, one of the reasons I transitioned out of the data engineering role was like it was like super in the back end and I wanted to do more data science and I wanted to work closely with the business and product. So depending on that, like if you are the type of person who likes staying in the back end, who doesn't want to deal with business, then like data engineering is a good career letter for True. you. And yep. the last is pay is very similar to a data scientist, if not better than a data scientist. I think that depends. It also depends on the location. When I look here in, in the EU, I think the scientist is still up from the engineer. But engineers, because you have that ladder, because you have that very well-defined structure of what is a mid-level, what is the senior engineer, um, I can see how the engineers are getting better. And also, we're right now, we're still in that phase where a lot of people have learned data science. They wanted to become a data scientist because it was cool and engineers nobody really cared about. So there are, are more scientists than engineers. And uh, now it's, it's getting, getting to the point where this tips a bit towards the engineer that they are more in demand, I think. And I would say like data engineering career ladder is more closer to a software engineer than a yep. data scientist. Uh, and that also reflects in the data engineering salaries. Now, the downside is that a lot of companies don't value their software engineers and data engineers at the same level. But oh, um, you need to work on the image. This is really blurry. I had that problem with the focus on my camera as well a few times. So theoretically and from the skill set perspective, software engineer and data engineers are, have much more similarity and data engineers do get paid more in some companies or at least at par as the data scientist. Anyways, those are the four things that I could think of that why I think data engineering job family is better. Uh, I would love to know your thoughts. Why do you think data engineering job family is better than data science, data scientist role or vice versa? All right, with that, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, interesting video. Um... What do you think? What's more your thing? The engineer, because we don't have to talk with so many people and we have no, nothing to do with business, or the scientist who needs to go out and uh, talk with product management and so on. Let me know in the comments. I think there were a few really good points. I don't know with the building tangible things in the beginning, if this is really a point because this is also a big thing for scientists. People don't care usually that much about the engineering and more about the science, more about the outcomes. But let me know in the uh, in the comments what you think about this as well. Who's having it better, the scientist or the engineer of actually showing what value they bring? And then see you in the next video.